Hi everyone, welcome to the RPB Resonance Chemistry. Now let's continue our lectures on GOC Chemistry Series, General Organic Chemistry Series Lecture Number Two. In today we are going to discuss about uh, hybridization in organic compounds, especially hybridization in organic compounds, not the inorganic molecules. Okay. Now let's move on to the topic. So this is the hybridization. Okay, so generally hybridization means the process of uh, intermixing of atomic orbitals to form a set of uh, a new orbitals. Those new orbitals is called hybrid orbitals. Okay, now let's again, uh, once again, I'll repeat in my sentence. Uh, the intermixing of atomic orbitals to form a, to generate a set of uh, orbitals, a set of new orbitals, those new orbitals are called hybrid orbitals. So generally, in case of organic compounds, uh, we are discussed about three types of hybridization. That is the sp3, sp2, sp hybridization. So these are the mainly three three types of hybridizations. One is sp3, another one is sp2. So the final one is sp hybridization. So the intermixing of one s orbital and three p orbital it leads to the four sp3 hybrid orbitals. Now we know that. So here one s orbital like a one p orbital like y direction, x direction, z direction. These are the three p orbitals. So these four are leads to the formation of like these type of four hybrid orbital. Okay, so this is the S orbital, P orbital, P orbital, P orbital. This is Py, Px, Pz. Now here it is 1 sp3, 1 sp3, 1 sp3, 1 sp3. So the total number of atomic orbitals it will reach, will is equal to the uh, number of hybrid orbitals. Okay, now here four orbital, four atomic orbitals overlap together and to forms the two new type of orbitals those new orbitals are called hybrid orbitals so these four orbitals are nothing but a hybrid orbitals so that is sp3 hybrid orbitals sp3 hybrid orbitals now let's move on to the our topic so in case of organic compounds in case of organic compounds, so the hybrid orbitals, sp3 hybrid orbitals means carbons containing single bond only so saturated compounds saturated compounds containing having single bonds only having single bonds okay but in case of sp2 hybrid orbitals that is a it is connected by the double bonds it is connected by the double bonds okay not the single bonds now in case of sp3 sp hybridization that means uh, it connected by the triple bonds or both the side double bonds both the side double bonds uh, like an alien type of molecule like an alien type molecule so these three are the uh, hybridization observed in organic molecules that is the carbon hydrogen related molecules okay now here it is the like hybridization sp3 sp2 sp hybridization saturated compounds single bonds double bonds triple bonds this is the general uh, prediction okay now let us discuss the basic part of this hybridization okay now based on this hybridization now uh, let us construct the one of the table number of orbitals are used so number of orbitals are used in case of sp3 like sp2 and sp okay so now here the number of orbitals are used four orbitals one is s orbital three is p orbital one s and three p orbitals now here three orbitals it is used one s orbital two p orbital one s and two p orbital so this is the sp2 hybridization now here one s orbital the 1p orbital 1s orbital and 1p orbital so now here the second case number of unused orbitals unused orbitals okay so here four orbitals are there four orbitals are used in the hybridization so that's why it is the nil there is no unused orbital so in case of sp2 and sp3 like now we have the like a carbon having the four that is a tetravalency but sp2 means uh, so one of the bond pair it is unused one of the hybrid hybrid orbitals are unused now here number of unused orbitals are one so here in case of sp number of unused orbitals are two okay now let's move on to the third one that is bonds that is the bonds so sp3 means it is all our single bonds so single bond means uh, it is uh, carbon itself it having the tetravalence that is the like a uh, major advantage of carbon atom now here it is, it is the tetravalence in this case all our single bonds all single bonds are sigma bonds we know that all single bonds are sigma bonds now here how many single bonds are there four single bonds so four single bonds is nothing but four sigma bonds now here the number of bonds are four sigma bonds four sigma bonds so in case of like alkene molecule alkene means it is a double bond 
okay now here one single bond another single bond here one double bond so in case of double bonds yesterday and uh, starting of the uh, like a GOC series I will discuss the those double bonds character so double bond means one sigma one pi triple bond means one sigma two pi single bond means only one sigma now here one sigma one sigma in the double bond one sigma one pi is there that's why three sigma bonds and one pi bond three sigma bonds and one pi bond so now in case of uh, triple bond that means it is the alkyne sp hybridized means here it is a one sigma bond one sigma bond two sigmas and two pi bonds two sigmas and two pi bonds so this is the like a uh, bonding nature this is the nothing but bonding nature now let's move on to the like a uh, uh, geometry of the molecule or bond angles geometry so sp3 means it is a tetrahedral moiety sp3 is nothing but a tetrahedral sp2 is a planar triangle planar trigonal now sp means the linear so with the help of uh, geometry now we can uh, determine the those bond angles those bond angles so tetrahedral means 109 degrees 28 seconds 109 degrees 28 seconds so planar triangle is 120 degrees 180 degrees these are the bond angles in in like a different different types of orbitals now the final thing is a percentage of s character percentage of s character now here four orbitals are there how many orbitals are there four orbitals that means uh, <coughs> one minute okay now four orbitals are there so four means uh, of it contributes each orbital it contributes a 25 percent that means 25 percent now here yes percentage in case of four orbitals one orbital can contribute to its 25 percent that's why only one s orbital is there that's why percentage of s character is at 25 percent so in case of application the percentage of s character uh, may, uh, play the role major role play it plays the major role now in case of sp2 here three orbitals are there so each orbital can contribute 33.3 percent 33.3 percent so that's why only one s orbital are there that's why percentage of s character is 33.3 percent now in case of sp orbital so two orbitals are there each orbital can contribute uh, one by second that means uh, half of the percent then here it contributes the 50 percent okay now here s character of the s character of the these three different orbitals increases from left to right from left to two right now here the contribution one by fourth that means uh, among the four uh, only one s orbital contributed among the three only one s orbital contributed so among the two only one s orbital contributed one by fourth and one by third one by two so this is the basic knowledge regarding to the hybridization of organic molecules okay now let's move on to the determination of uh, hybridization okay so how can you confirm those cor corresponding molecule those corresponding carbon atom in a any molecule so which is uh, belongs to the whether it is sp hybridization or sp2 hybridization or sp3 hybridization now let's move on to the determination of hybridization in organic molecule now i'll explain the, those determination theories by the two methods so first and second method let's move on to the, those two methods okay now let's move on to the so determination methods of hybridization in organic molecules so now these these two uh, these determination can explain by the two methods so first method method number one so that is the based on the number of pi bonds number of pi bonds so here the like a molecule having the number of pi bonds based on the number of pi bonds it can be determined whether it is sp hybridization or sp2 hybridization or sp3 hybridization okay now i'll do the simple table so number of pi bonds so this is the first column now the second one is a like a type of hybridization type of hybridization okay now here it is the simplest table so if number of hybrid a number of pi bonds zero one two okay now here pi bond means it is a unsaturated compound that means double bonds or triple bonds so if there is no pi bond that means it is a saturated compound saturated compound is nothing but a sp3 hybridization so only one pi bond is there that means it is a double bond that is a sp2 hybridization so if triple bond is there then it is nothing but a sp hybridization sp hybridization so based on the like number of pi bonds it can classify the three types that is sp2 or sp3 or sp hybridization okay now let's uh, uh, select let's examine ourselves now some of the example so this is the ch3 
CH double bond, CH C double bond, or CH three. This is the one type of organic molecule. So we don't know the uh, each and every carbon hybridization. We don't know exactly. We don't know. But let's move on to the this method. How can you determine the, the exact exact hybridization of uh, each and every carbon in a organic molecule? Okay. Now here, so there is no. Pi bond. There is no pi bond. Zero pi bonds. That means it is the sp3 hybrid orbital. sp3 hybrid orbital. So here only one pi bond is there. Only one pi bond. Pi bond is nothing but double bonds and triple bonds. So double bond one sigma and one pi. So in case of triple bond one sigma and two pi. One sigma and two pi. So based on this we can calculate the number of pi bonds. Okay. Now here one pi bond is there. It is right side. So however either right side or left side the number of pi bonds are equal to the one. So then it is sp two hybrid orbital. And then here also only left side or double bond is there. Then it is also sp two hybrid orbital. Now here there is a possibility for the like a double bond whether it is there or not. Okay, now here it is the single bond. It is the single bond, but it can contribute to the double bonds with oxygen. That's why it having the one pi bond. So that's why it is also an sp two hybrid orbital. Sp two hybrid orbital. So this is the sp three hybrid orbital. There is no pi bond. Okay, so this is the best example. Now let's move on to the another example. Okay, so this is the like a propane molecule. So here, how many bonds are there? Two pi bonds. How many by how how many pi bonds? Two pi bonds. So two pi bond means it is sp hybrid orbital. So here also it can contribute to the two pi bonds. It is also sp hybrid orbital. So here only one only there is sorry there is no pi orbitals. Then it is sp three hybrid orbitals. Now the final example that is the best example that is nothing but uh, aline molecules. Now let's move on to the aline molecules. Okay, now here aline CH two double bond CH C CH two CH two double bond C double bond CH two. This is the aline molecule. This is the aline molecule. So here it can contribute the one pi bond with a right side carbon atom. That's why it is sp two. Now again it can contribute the one pi bond with a left side atom. That's why it is also sp two. Now here the middle of the carbon atom it can contributes the two different pi bonds. Okay, one is the double bond, another one is the right side double bond. One is the left side, another one is double uh, right side. That's why here it can contributes the two pi bonds. Uh, so that's why it is sp hybrid orbital. It is sp hybrid orbitals. So in case of aline hybridization, the middle carbon is sp hybridized carbon. He even though it having the it not having the like a triple bond. Even though it can it cannot contribute the triple bond, but it is sp hybrid orbital. So this is the first method. Now let's move on to the second method. So this is the like a second method, method number two. That is a electron pair method. Electron pair method. Okay, electron pair method. Electron pair method. So now here the electron pair is equal to EP is equal to BP plus LP. So now the terms are very interesting. So EP means electron pairs. BP means bond pairs. Bond pairs. Now LP means uh, like lone pairs. Okay. So if EP that is nothing but uh, electronic pairs, if it is equal to two, three, four, five, six, etc. Okay, in case of electron pairs or two, then the type of hybridization is nothing but uh, sp hybridization, sp two hybridization, sp three hybridization, sp three d hybridization, sp three d two hybridization, sp three d two hybridization. So this is the like a molecule. So the if uh, electron pairs are two, then it is hybridization is sp three, sp two four, sp three five, sp three d six is sp three d two. Now, so this is the like a uh, electronic pair method. So, but here the problem is how can you Determine the number of bond pairs and the number of lone pairs in organic molecule. So let's move on to the like calculation of bond pairs. So this is the bond pairs. So according to the definition of bond pairs, the number of bond pairs is equal to the the number of atoms connected to the central ion. The number of atoms connected to the central ion, not the bonds. Okay. Now let us example the number of atoms connected connected to the Central ion in species. Central ion in species. Now let us let us take the example that is the like a double bond character. So that is the like a alkene. So it is the ethylene molecule. Okay. Now here uh, let's uh, calculate the like a uh, these uh, like a first carbon atom bond pairs. Okay. Now here it can connect it through the 
like a bottom hydrogen it is the one atom now again it is also another atom this is the second atom okay now it can contribute the it can connect the another atom that is the third atom so this is the like a third atom so this carbon atom which can connected through the three atoms then here the bond pairs is equal to three so the bond pairs are equal to the three now in the site of hydrogen here uh, this hydrogen it can contribute the only one carbon atom it can form the bond with only one carbon atom that's why here the hydrogen bond pair is equal to one hydrogen bond pair is equal to one so these two hydrogen bond pairs itself is equal to the one but uh, this carbon atom it having the like uh, like similar to the left side carbon atom here also uh, like uh, the number of bond pairs is equal to the three so now let's move on to the different different example here it is the like a benzene molecule so how many bond pairs are there it is the represented carbon atom represented carbon atom so here it it having the one carbon connection with the bottom side and another carbon with the left side and a hydrogen atom with the right side that means three three atoms are there then bond pairs is equal to the three so this is the calculation of bond pairs in different different molecules now the determination of lone pairs lone pair determination okay how do you confirm the number of lone pairs in organic molecule okay now the first point so in case of like lone pairs or pi bond uh, like a uh, pi bonds or odd number of electrons pi bonds or odd number of electrons are present odd number of electrons are present then lone pairs is equal to the zero then lone pairs is equal to the zero or instead of that so in case of uh, like negative charge is present negative charge is present then lone pairs is equal to the one then lone pairs is equal to the one this is the calculation of a uh, uh, method of lone pairs determination L lone pairs determination now let us check the one or two examples for our clarity Okay, now let us discuss the some of the examples regarding to the these uh, like a uh, prediction of second method. So that is the first example, simply simple example that is CH two double bond CH plus vinyl cation. Okay, so this carbon atom. Okay, so what is the hybridization of this carbon atom? So how can you calculate the these electron pairs and uh, like a uh, bond pairs and lone pairs? Now the bond pairs here it having the like a uh, three atom connection double bond hydrogen. It is the positive charge. So it connected to the two atoms. Then bond pairs are equal to the two. So the lone pairs. So in case of a positive or uh, pi electrons or odd number of electrons, uh, the lone pairs are equal to the zero. Then totally electron pairs are equal to the two. So this is the sp hybridized atom. Sp hybridized atom. Now let's move on to the another example. That is CH two double bond CH minus. So here also like bond pairs are equal to the two. So lone pairs. So in previous case, bond pairs are same. But lone pairs it is a negative charge. In case of negative charge, lone pairs are equal to the one. So then bond pairs and lone pairs it is equal to the electron pairs three. So then hybridization is sp two. Hybridization is sp two. Now let's move on to the another example. That is a acetylene. derivatives that is the negative charge here only it connected to the only one atom then bond pairs are equal to the one so the lone pairs here negative is nothing but one so the electron pairs 1 plus 1 is equal to the 2 so this is the sp hybridized orbital sp hybridized orbital so now it is a ch3 c minus ch ch3 okay now it is isopropyl carbonyl okay now here the bond pairs are equal to the like uh, here one methyl atom another methyl atom two methyl atoms so it is the hydrogen atom so totally it connected to the three atoms then it is uh, like a uh, three bond pairs are equal to the three so then lone pair so it is a negative charge that's why it is equal to the one totally so electronic pairs are equal to the four so four means it is sp3 hybrid orbital sp3 hybrid orbitals so these are the four examples these are the four examples regarding to the our calculation of our electronic pair methods okay so this is the very simple uh, simple prediction method of the hybridization in organic molecule now let's uh, uh, discuss the some of the applications regarding to the hybridization in organic molecule okay so these are the very pretty easier uh, determination method first one and second one okay now let's move on to the applications Okay, guys. Now let us discuss this, some of the applications regarding to the hybridization in organic chemistry. Okay. Now here five applications are there. So among the five, one is uh, size of the, the first one is the size of the uh, hybrid orbital. Size of the hybrid orbital. 
So here the second one is uh, like uh, electronegativity of different atoms, third bond length and bond strength, the final one is acidity of uh, different different hydrocarbons, acidity of different different hydrocarbons. Now let's move on to the size of the hybrid orbital. So we don't know the size of the hybrid orbital of different sp3, sp2, sp which is larger and which is small. So this is the nucleus. So which is surrounded by the sum of the orbitals. So orbit having the s orbitals and p orbitals. Okay, even though same orbit it having the like s and p orbitals, s and p orbitals. However, the s orbitals are somewhat closer to the nucleus than the p orbitals. That means, uh, so the distance between the nucleus and the s orbital is uh, smaller than that of the p orbital. Okay, so that means, uh, so the distance of like uh, s orbitals closer to the nucleus. So if S orbitals are closer to the nucleus, that means uh, the size of the molecule. So here only S orbital is there. So the size of the molecules will be less. Okay. So then size of the molecules, size of the molecules, lesser than the P orbitals. Okay. But in case of hybrid orbitals, here the mixing of S and P orbitals are there. So that the time, now we required the percentage of S character. Okay. So the percentage of S character increases size will decreases that means uh, the more percentage is that the more closer to the nucleus if molecules is, which is more closer to the nucleus then size will be less then size will be less that means uh, percentage of s character increases size will be reduced size will be reduced now let's move on to the different different orbitals this is sp3 sp2 sp so here it is the percentage of s character that is a 25% 33.3%, 50%. Okay, so the percentage of S character increases from left to right. So then, what about the size of the orbitals? So, if it is more percentage of S character, so if more percentage of S character, that means it is a lesser size, less size. Okay, here it is the like a less percentage of S character, then it is more size, then it is more size. Okay, so the size uh, decreasing order like this. So SP3 is greater than that of the SP2, which is greater than that of the SP. So this is the size of the orbital. Okay, this is the first application. Okay, sp3 is a higher size, the a higher size than that of the sp2. Sp2 is a higher size than that of the sp based on the electronic uh, like a, a percentage of s character. Now let's move on to the second application. Now the second application that is nothing but a electronegativity of different atoms electronegativity of different atoms okay this is the very important thing so now the electronegativity of different atoms okay now the percentage of like simply s orbitals having the maximum electronegativity s orbitals has maximum electronegativity this is the first point so yeah, orbital having the ma maximum electronegativity then the like the electronegativity the second point the electronegativity of hybrid orbitals is directly proportional to the percentage of s character why because so s having the more electronegativity than that of the p so s orbital is more electronegative than that of the p why because it is closer to the uh, nucleus that means uh, more uh, strength of the s orbital more uh, uh, density of s orbital increases more electronegativity okay so then electronegativity of a hybrid orbital is directly proportional to the percentage of s character so Based on that, we can we can determine the like a uh, electronegativity of these three different types of hybrid orbitals: sp3, sp2, sp. Okay, now here the percentage of s character is equal to 25 percent, 33.3 percent, 50 percent, 33.3 percent, and 50 percent. Okay, now here uh, percentage of s character increases from left to right. Then automatically electronegativity is also increases from left to right. So electronegativity and percentage of s character increases from left to right from left to right so that means uh, sp having the more electronegative than the sp3 so which is also explained by the another method so here ch is greater than that of the like a uh, ch2 is greater than that of the ch3 okay so this is the like a uh, sp hybridized uh, proton is more acidic than that of the like sp2 then it is the like uh, which is also greater than that of the sp3 okay so the acidity can also determined by the electronegativity of uh, hybrid orbitals only electronegativity of hybrid orbitals again it having the another character so sp sp2 sp3 among these three sp it is uh, particularly it is more acidic that means more electronegative so more electronegative means more s character so sp is more s character so more electronegative it appears as electronegative character completely it is electronegative there is no electropositive possibility okay but in case of sp3 it is also completely electropositive 
there is no other possibility uh, another possibility but sp2 it shown the duality sp2 it shown the duality so that means uh, it acts as electro positive sometimes and electro negative sometimes electro negative okay sometimes it is electro positive and sometimes it is it is electro negative so electro positive at carbocation and the electro negative at a carbonion electro positive at carbocation and electro negative at a carbonion so this is the simplest character okay now <coughs> let's second okay now so at carbocation sp2 act as electro positive and anion it act as electro negative so this is the simplest thing now let us uh, uh, let us uh, uh, give in the some of the order regarding to the electronegativity character s character is the highest electronegative than that of the hybrid orbitals so hybrid orbitals are like here the percentage of s character is more sp2 is more than that of the sp3 sp3 is more than that of the p orbital okay so order of the different atomic as well as a hybrid orbitals okay now s car s percentage of s character here pure s orbital it is more electronegative than that of the hybrid orbital so in case of hybrid orbital the based on the percentage of s character so it is more electronegative than that of the sp2 yes sp2 is more electronegative than that of the sp3 sp3 all the hybrid orbitals more electronegative than that of the p orbital so this is the second character i think it is clear now let's move on to the third character Now let us discuss the like a third factor that is a bond length factor. The third one, so that is the bond length. Okay, so simply here the bond length. Uh, so percentage of s character. So here the predominant factor is a percentage of s character only. So percentage of s character is inversely proportional to the C C bond length. So now again, so many of the uh, like uh, many of the teachers they are uh, discussed only s character C C bond length only. But I I would like to take the another example so percentage of s character is directly proportional is inversely proportional to the ch bond length sorry if both are inversely proportional not directly proportionality percentage of s character is inversely proportional to the cc bond length as well as ch bond length now let us give, let us take the uh, draw the one of the table so regarding to the like those values okay now here the like a cc bond type of like a, so this is the cc bond different different uh, hybridization cc bond hybridization now here it is the bond length ch bond hybridization and bond length bond length so bond length in angstrom okay cc hybridization means uh, so in case of both are sp3 sp3 hybrid orbitals that means uh, sp3 sp3 that is equal to the cc bond that is the cc bond so then bond length is equal to the 1.54 angstroms like in case of sp2 sp2 that means a uh, c double bond c the bond length is equal to the 1.34 angstroms 1.34 angstroms then third one is sp and sp that is the c triple bond c so this is the character so in case of c triple bond c the percentage like a uh, bond length is equal to the 1.20 that means cc single bond is a more bonder length than that of the c double bond c okay now c triple bond c is smaller than that of the above two so this is the bond length order okay and similarly so CH bond length also inversely proportional to the percentage of s character. So here it is the more percentage of s character, less of the bond length. So here it is the less uh, less percentage of s character, more the bond length. That is the proof. Okay. Now the second in case of uh, CH bonds, that means uh, sp3. Yes, that means uh, like a uh, CH3 hydrogen. So these type of bonds. Okay, single bond, carbon single bond with hydrogen. Now the second second case is sp2. Yes, so that means a uh, c double bond c hydrogen. Now the third case is sp3. Yes, so here triple bond c triple bond h c triple bond h. So h having the s orbital. Okay, this type of hybrid orbital. So now the bond length is equal to the 1.112 angstroms. 1.112 angstroms. Now in case of sp2 and yes, so here 1.10 angstroms. Now the final case is 1.08 angstroms. 1.08 angstroms. 
percent. Okay. Now here, in case of uh, CH3H, that means it is a less percentage of S character. That means here it is the less percentage of S character having the more bond length among these two, these three, which is the higher bond length when compared to the these three. So it is the higher bond length. So here the more percentage of S character, more acidic proton is there, but it is the like lesser bond length. So these two tables which are clearly proved these uh, the, like these uh, information that means uh, these uh, formulation percentage of S character inversely proportional to the bond length and percentage of S character is inversely proportional to the bond length of CH bond length of CH now let's move on to the another application I think it is clear now let's move on to the another application okay so now the third application, the fourth application, that is the bond strength. That is the bond strength. Okay. So if bond lengths are shortened, so that means in case of double bonds and triple bonds, so bond lengths are starting like this. Okay. So if bond length are shortened, so then in case of atomic nucleus compression is more. So if atomic nucleus compression is more, then the bond strength is more. Okay. So bond lengths are shortened. So now I'll repeat my sentence. So bond lengths are shortened. That means uh, so bond length decreases. Now the like uh, interaction between the atomic nucleus increases. So that means the uh, compression of the atomic nucleus increases. In case of compression of atomic nucleus, bond strength is more. Bond strength is more. So it is a quite opposite word. So bond strength is so now here bond strength in a kilo uh, like a same table bond strength key kilo calories in mole inverse like a bond strength uh, in kilo calories and mole inverse okay now here it is quite opposite so this is the values of a uh, bond strength of same same uh, same like uh, same sp3 sp3 sp2 sp2 sps okay now here the bond strength uh, inc uh, like uh, increases from top to bottom why because here it is approximately 84 kilo calories now here 80 to 90 kilo calories okay now here like 122 to 164 calories like approximate values 123 to one uh, like 199 kilo calories this is the approximate range okay so it is not exact uh, now i'll give the approximate range only okay so here it means uh, more percentage of s character more bond strength that means the uh, the more percentage of s character more bond strength okay quite a uh, uh, opposite uh, relation uh, rather than the previous one so bond strength is directly proportional to the like a uh, uh, the percentage of S character, percentage of S character. Now uh, let us uh, uh, examine the CH bond strength values. Now here SP3S and SP2S and SP3S. So now here the bond length, uh, it is approximately is equal to the 104 kilocalories, 106 kilocalories, 121 kilocalories. Here also top to bottom. Uh, bond energies bond strength are increases here it is bond strength is nothing but bond energy okay so now the percentage of s character increases bond energies are increases now the final conclusion is bond energy is directly proportional to the percentage of s character and bond lengths are inversely percent inversely proportional to the percentage of s character so these two are the uh, final points okay now let's move on to the final application so that is the fifth application this is the fourth third <laughs> Okay, now let us discuss the fifth application that is nothing but uh, like acidity of uh, hydrocarbons acidity of hydrocarbons okay so generally acidity of hydrocarbon mainly depends upon the adjacent atom nature okay now here it is the hydrogen atom so this is simply it is water molecule okay now here like a uh, ammonia molecule hydrogen atom which is connected to the ammonia nitrogen atom so now again it is a uh, carbon canal methane atom hydrogen atom okay now here uh, hydrogen atoms so three three molecules having the hydrogen atom but uh, three hydrogen atoms in different molecules which are connected to the different atoms so now here uh, oxygen atom nitrogen atom carbon atom okay so oxygen nitrogen carbon it having the, their electronegativity difference so the more electronegative difference atom attached hydrogen is more acidic in nature when compared to the like a uh, lesser electronegativity atoms okay oxygen is more electronegative that's why it is more acidic in nature when compared to the nitrogen when compared to the nitrogen carbon is lesser one that's why it is less acidic in nature so this is the acidic character of a hydro uh, like a hydrocarbon so simply now let us move on to the like acidic character of uh, hydrocarbons that is the like a uh, alkane alkyne alkene alkane alkyne alkene 
Okay, so this is the alkyne, alkene, alkane. Okay, alkyne is sp2 hybridized. Alkene is sp2 hybridized. Alkane is sp3 hybridized. Okay, now among these two, among these three, so the percentage of S character is 50%. If the percentage of S character is 33.3%, now the percentage of S character is 25%. 25%. So this is the percentage of S character. Now again, the percentage of S character which was determined by the acidic character. So sorry. So now the acidic character which has determined by the, with the help of the KA, like a KA values, the PKA values. Now PKA values of these alkyne, alkane, alkane is nothing but here it is the 25 and 44 50 okay now here percentage of s character is directly proportional to the like uh, acidic constant percentage of s character is directly proportional to the acidic constant simply it is nothing but percentage of s is directly proportional to the acidic constant ka okay but percentage of s character is inversely proportional to the pka why because so pka is equal to anti logarithm of ka anti logarithm of ka that's why percentage of s character decreases from left to right then pka value increases from left to right okay now here the percentage of s character is inversely proportional to the pka inversely proportional to the pka but directly proportional to the ka Okay, now the percentage of S character decreases, then automatically K acidic strength also decreases. Then uh, automatically, so the PKA value uh, almost all increases. PKA value almost all increases. This is the like third factor. That's why so the more percentage of S character, more acidic. More percentage of S character, acidic. Acidity of uh, different alkynes, different uh, hydrocarbons. This is the second point. So based on the second point, so the acidity order like this. Acidity order like this. Now again, now the third point regarding to the acidic character in hybridization. So that is that is the like a alkyne acidity, acidity order of alkynes, acidity order of alkynes. Okay. So now here more number of more number of acetylene protons are there. Acetylene protons, more number of acetylene hydrogens or more acidic or more acidic this is the simple thing so the more number of uh, acidic hydrogens are more acidic in nature or more acidic in nature some of the molecule having the like more number of uh, acetylene protons that is sp attached protons so this is the acetylene molecule it's so here more acidic protons are two why because here it is the sp attached carbon here it is the sp attached proton so now in case of uh, like a propyne so here it is a ch c triple bond ch the number of acidic protons are one so now again in case of like a triple bond attached methyl group and methyl group the number of protons are zero okay more number of protons more acidic in nature so it is the like a so this is the b this is the c so among these three acidity order like this a greater than b greater than c why because so the more number of acidic protons are there more acidic in nature okay now here two protons are there one proton are there zero protons are there okay this is the like third point regarding to the acidity of uh, hydrocarbons now let's move on to the like a uh, final factor that is uh, nothing but a relative order of uh, different different compounds uh, different different compounds now here like water is greater than that of the like a uh, ammonia so simply water is more acidic than that of the like a uh, uh, C triple bond C H that is acetylene. Acetylene is more uh, like more acidic than that of the ammonia. So ammonia is more acidic than that of the alkene. So alkene is more acidic than that of the alkane. So this is the relative order of acidity. Relative order of acidity. So this is the relative order of acidity. So based on this, this order, so the acidity of uh, like protons can be determined. Okay. So quite opposite their pK, their uh, conjugate bases are quite opposite order. Quite uh, opposite order. That is a uh, conjugate base of uh, ethane is more stable, more uh, basic in nature when compared to the alkene, alkenyl. That is vinyl carbonyl when compared to the amide and the acetylene carbonyl and OH minus. That is the like conjugate basic order. Okay. So that's all for this video. This is a very helpful for like a uh, JE mains as well as uh, organic basic levels okay I think guys it is very helpful for you if you like the video please share and if you have any doubts comment in the below comment section thank you so much for watching